Welcome back. It's 9.31. We were scheduled to have Science with Sarah live yesterday, but the thing about live TV is things don't always go as planned. It really doesn't, but Sarah and the crew had some technical difficulties, but they still did the experiment with the students out at Elm Creek Elementary School on the city's southwest side. Class is learning about circuits, so Sarah found an experiment to go along with that. Take a look. Does everybody have the battery? Yes. And then next up, we need... We need some aluminum foil, okay? One sheet per purse. Foil, per purse. Get aluminum foil. So take this bulb, okay? Look at it upside down, okay? Do you see the longer piece? The longer piece is the positive wire. The shorter piece is the negative wire. Okay, take your battery, okay, in your battery, the smooth side is the positive side, and the textured side is the negative side. So your long side be on the smooth side, that will make it light up, and then if you flip it around, it will not light up, because that's, the, the negative side is on the positive side. So that's how the battery is going to is going to light up your light bulb, okay? So, I'm going to show David for the camera. I'm going to show David how to make the index card flashlight. And then we're going to do it together. Okay, guys? Yes. All right. So, we have our materials and you have your tape, David. Do you have your tape? So in order to make an index card flashlight, you need these materials. You need an LED light bulb. You can get a pack of 100 for these at Amazon for seven bucks. You need a small three volt button battery, an index card, aluminum foil, and some tape. Now my secret is I like to use these file folder labels because they're a little bit stronger and they're easier to break up than a roll of tape. So David, here's what you're gonna do. First thing I want you to do is to find the positive side of the light bulb, which is the longer end. Now you're gonna- longer end. Yes, exactly, that's the positive side. Now put that up to the positive side of the battery, which is the smooth side. Awesome, uh, boom, oh. so we know the light bulb works. Right. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is with this card, you're going to tape your light bulb to the top here and take note of which side is the positive side and which side is the negative side. Which side is the short side? Well, you can make a mark here. So on the, on the side of the card that you're gonna do positive, put a plus, and on the side of the card that you're gonna do negative, put a negative. So the short side is the? Is the negative side. See? Yep, you wanna mark this because once there's tape on it, it's a little bit difficult to know exactly which side is which. I need a piece of tape. Yep, you need a piece of tape and make sure you leave plenty of room at the bottom. Nope, so you need to make it skinnier. Yeah, so that way you can leave plenty of room for the aluminum foil to have contact. This is the positive side. Yeah, there you go. And do the same on the negative. All right, kids, I want you guys to do the same thing there that we just did. Foil. So now what you're going to do is you're going to fold a piece of foil long ways. Okay. Yep. And then go ahead and tear it so that way it's just a skinny long Maybe piece fold. of foil. That's good. So just a skinny long piece of foil. Okay, now you're gonna make sure on the positive side to tape that onto the exposed wire, exactly like that. And here's the key. Now you're gonna tape the positive side of the battery down onto the aluminum foil. Other way, like this on top of it. Like that, perfect. Okay. And you're gonna wanna tape it, but you're gonna wanna leave room on the battery. Like that? Nope, like this. Leave room on the battery? I do it like this. Oh, in the center of the battery. You know what I'm saying? In the center of the battery okay. so that it's charged. Gotcha. Yeah. Why don't you do it on this? It's these experiments. <laughs> You're doing great, David. Okay, now. and now go ahead and tear this. Tear the foil? Yep, close okay. to the bottom, yep. Flip it over. Attach this to this side. Oh, Ooh. your foil's not long enough, so let's get a longer piece of foil. It's got to go all the way to the other side. <laughs> well, this is a long experiment. I know. 
That'll work. I hope it works. And now, when you attach this to the battery, it should turn on. Oh. <laughs> And you'll notice that it, it takes a little bit of uh, fidgeting to get it perfect, but then it does because it connects there to the negative side. So that's how circuit works. Good job, guys. And when you tape, when you tape the the light the line there, you want to make sure a lot of the wire is exposed. Okay. So what I would actually do is I would move this up a little bit so that way the bottom, more of the wire comes in contact with the aluminum foil. So tape the other side down too. Perfect. We're not gonna use the, we're not gonna use the bed. So, so you're gonna fold the foil, right? Okay. So what do you think about this thing so far? Um, I feel like it's gonna be cool and it's like really cool to do. So like, it's kind of like like if you're doing a project. Yeah, okay. And yeah, that's, this is kind of intricate, isn't it? Yeah. Got a detail. Yeah. You're doing great. That might be too much foil. Yeah. yeah. On this part. Take that. Sorry? Just get... <gasps> okay. There we go. Here's a double. Here's the double right here. How do you feel about it? Great. Uh, <laughs> great. Was this hard or complicated? I, mean, I won't say it's that complicated, but <laughs> sure. It was intricate. Yeah, that. Cool. Sure. What major light bulb Two, worked? one. Woo! It's like a concert. Hey, for more Science with Sarah experiments, you can go to ksat.com. Good job, guys. Woo! Hold up your lights. Hold up your lights. <laughs> we feel like we're at a concert. <laughs> Oh, you ought to go through all the intricacies of making a little light bulb. No, man, we, we bought ours. Yeah, cool. yeah, we yeah. bought ours. Uh, you struggled a little that, bit there, David. Detail. Well, you know. It's a lot of stuff. It's like, and sometimes it worked, and sometimes it's kind of like a live shot, you know? Yeah. yeah. TV's an experiment. I love yesterday, it. it didn't work, and so some of the kids could get it right off the bat. Some had to work at it, change the foil, get it less thick, get it more thick. Flip it around, do this, do that, but do all kinds of stuff. That's, but that's science. That's science. I love how when you asked one of the little girls, you're like, is it intricate? She's like, I mean, kind of. Where you're like, yeah, no, it was. Please tell me it was intricate. <laughs> it was pretty It was pretty detailed. Yeah, but it was good. Detailed. It was a good experience. And, they, and they, they were great. Man, those kids in that class. Yeah, they did a great job. They did a great job. And it looked like a concert at the end. Yes, it really love brought that. it out. the room. Once so. the lights were Sarah, off. Sarah Spivey, our girl, once again, doing a great job. And hey, you too, David. Well, thank you very much. Good assistant. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> thank you to Sarah as well.